get back in time. Now I've missed that science test. Hey, I would have been able to get us home if you hadn't been complaining the whole trip. Oh, your tracker instincts. What a pro. There's nothing wrong with that map, Hannah. No, except for two hours you're leading us into a chocolate smudge. Listen, I just spent half a day showing you round. Most of which was spent watching some stupid cricket match. And it was a good game. What's wrong, Mary? Oh, three words you don't want to hear anywhere near a restaurant. We've got roaches. They carry bacteria and protozoa in their legs. Gastroenteritis, dysentery. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh, and I've got to get going if I don't want to get in trouble. Miss Murphy will kill me for missing that test. You'll be fine. So I'll see you soon then? Yeah, not too soon. Well, what's your problem? You're my problem. Whenever you're around, I seem to do nothing but land in hot water. And that's my fault. I don't know whose fault it is. But maybe you should just stay away for a while. No. No, I can't. I've got to bring my board through later for Cormac to fit the fins. Fins? You don't forget it. Okay? I don't want to know. Hannah? I know there's an elaborate excuse percolating in that mind of yours. Not at all, Miss Murphy. Um, I missed the science test through my own stupidity and I accept full responsibility. You do? Absolutely. And I plan to make up for it. Good. How? Ah. Uh, well, I'm, I'm still working that out. Perhaps I can help you then. Really? You know that your science practical is coming up? Yes. <laughs> it would be in your interest to come up with a really impressive project. How impressive? Impressive enough to make me forget about you missing your test. That impressive? It's time to put that brain of yours to use, Hannah. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. <sighs> That's all. I can't think of anything to do for the science practical. I need some inspiration. I'd help you out, but I'm uh, kind of busy. Busy with something that looks scientific? It's a lie detector. Are you serious? It's perfect. It'll knock Miss Murphy's socks clean off. We can work on it together. I don't want to uh, seem ungrateful, but I don't actually need your help. Of course you do. And what exactly is your contribution going to be? Well, um... You need a gimmick. See, a lie detector's boring. But, say, a talking lie detector. Talking? It'd be a world first. Hey, that's not a bad idea. I would need a computer voice module. I happen to have just the thing. Meredith, don't you think you're overreacting? I'm not leaving this room until all the roaches are gone. No way. OK, well, just give me a shout if you need anything. OK. Oh, what's where you're going, will ya? Why is everything around here always my fault? Because you're a loser! All right, you two, listen. I need your help to get rid of these roaches. No, sorry, Jack, you can't help. There's a guy in town selling his entire collection of model biplanes. Can't miss this one. Great. Sure, but can I do it later? How much later? Just a few minutes, all right? Okay, but don't forget, this is important. All right, Mum, I won't forget. Checkmate, congratulations. Your skill is astonishing. Great. That's a terrific voice. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Just have to work on getting the voice module out, though. While I go get some gear for Sylvia from the science lab. Who's Sylvia? Oh. The Synthetic Intelligent Lie Verification Interface Appliance. Sylvia, for short. Oh, good job I found a girl's voice, then. Come on! Just come apart, will you? What is the problem? I'm so sorry, darling. 
darling. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Didn't we agree to stay away from each other? Hey, I'm not hassling you. I'm looking for Cormac. He reckons he's got a super new idea for a winged fin system. Well, it's gonna have to wait. Cormac and I are building a lie detector. But don't tell anyone. It's meant to be a secret. I'm not gonna tell anyone, but you better hope it doesn't work. And why is that? Because we've got a few secrets of our own that we wouldn't want people to know the truth about. Don't be silly. I'm not gonna tell anyone about the portal. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll leave you to it. Uh, tell Cormac I'll, I'll be back later. What do you know? We need something on which to display the swimming trunk. Whoa! I'm sorry, Miss Murphy. Brett, what on earth have you got there? This? Yes, that! I uh, found this in the, um, in, in, in the stables, and I thought it might be useful. That isn't the very thing. A surfing plank. Surfboard, actually. And perfect for what we were talking about, Miss Murphy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Perfect for what? Don't you worry your head about that. But that belongs to someone. Oh, if it was in the stable, it would have been there for ages. No one's going to claim it. Great. Meredith, we've just had a few cockroaches, not a plague of rats. You can come out now. Red? Red, hello. I know you're in there. Why is everyone locking themselves up today? You promised you'd help me. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will, honest. Well, it's too late now. I've had to do it all myself. I'm sorry, Mum. Oh. We're ready for our first test. Is all this stuff, um, necessary? The headband. Moisture sensitive. This measures blood pressure. Sylvia will detect an increase in either. Plus, when she's finished, she'll detect fluctuations in your vocal patterns, too. Well, you've thought of everything, Cormac. Let's get started. What is your name? Hannah O'Flaherty. That is the truth. Where are you right now? O'Keefe School. That is the truth. When did you last leave the school grounds? Last weekend. That is a lie. No, it's not. I... I went into town with you, remember? Oh. Well, it's not... it's not perfect. Let's try a question with a negative answer. <clears throat> Have you been outside the school in the last two days? No. That is a lie. This isn't working. Um, maybe I'm too sweaty or something. No, it's got to be more than that. I'll recheck the uh, wiring. Mom! Mom, I've got good news and bad news. Hit me with the bad. The bad news is the cockroaches are still around. Oh, no. But I know where they're coming from. Wayne's room. Oh, I told him before about leaving food scraps around. Wayne! Wayne! <sighs> oh, I didn't do it. It's not my fault. Huh? What is that lizard doing in here? Uh, he belongs to Nerida. Who? Nerida. It's a girl from school. I'm, I'm looking after him while she's away. His name's Morrison. And you've been leaving the lid off his food jar. Well, it must have just come off. Yeah, right. It unscrewed itself and then rolled across the floor all on its own. Yeah, probably. Well, look, it doesn't matter how it happened. The point is we have to fumigate the place. And what am I supposed to do? You and Morrison will just have to bunk down with Brett for a while. No. No, Mum, no way. That's Brett! Not... Checkmate. Game over. <sighs> wow! Sylvia, you are the best opponent I've ever had. Thank you, Cormac. I should be. You built me. Well, <laughs> I've certainly got you rigged to tell the truth. You have one of the finest minds of your generation. You have really responded to that artificial intelligence program I gave you. I wonder what would happen if I gave you a further boost. 
This is the pit. Having to share with you. Yeah? Well, it's not my idea of a good time either. No sudden movements and no yelling. Me and Morrison need our rest. Just wash your feet. And no story. Mum's got Bobby's room. Look, um, I'll come through after the science practical. We can talk then. No, Bye. Hannah, don't use the portal. Hannah! Hannah! Look, I still think I should operate the detector and, and you'll be the subject. No, this is perfect. Now, what age are you, Cormac? I am 14. The subject is telling the truth. Huh? I souped up her vocabulary last night. What do you reckon? Sounds good. Now, are you very intelligent? Uh, sure. Well, well, I suppose. The subject is telling the truth. See? It's working brilliantly. Are you a genius? What? What kind of question is that? I don't know. The subject is lying. OK. I'll rephrase the question. Do you think you're a genius? Just ask something else. Just answer the question. No, I don't think I'm a genius. The subject is lying. Look, stop it, Hannah. I thought we were mates. Mate. Mate. Checkmate in two. Night. See Queen's what you've done? You've confused four. her. On to Queen's Night three. Well, can't you fix Horn it? Takes night. Check. Hannah, I was told I could find you here. I believe you're working on your project with Cormac. That's right. And it'll all be ready for the practical this morning? Oh, absolutely. No problems. Good. I look forward to seeing something impressive. Thanks, miss. I should have just done something with frogs. Who is it? I don't know. Hello, Wayne speaking. Is this Wayne Payne, the mole plane collector? Might be. Who wants to know? Um, this is Seamus McCracken. Who? Uh, Seamus McCracken. I heard you're in the bowl of planes and I've given some away, so... Are you interested? Depends. How much? Oh, nothing. I'm giving them away for free. Well, look, I might be able to take them off your hands. Whereabouts are you? A pony five, um... A uh, Henry Street. I'm a busy man, Seamus. I can't just drop everything and rush around. Give me ten minutes. OK, I'll see you then, all right? Yes. We've only got 20 minutes. Think you can fix it? Look, it's fine. Really, everything's uh, fine. Everything's fine. See? <laughs> What a waste of time. What did she just say? Nothing. Nothing. Look, it's going to be OK, I, uh, I promise. Hey, what are you doing? That's my bike. Out of my way, loser. I've got business to do. Sounds important. Way out of your league, Junior. Have fun. Even though I do say so myself, and shouldn't. What have you done? <laughs> Told you you'd be amazed. Did you have to split it like that? First class, isn't it? Used to be. What? I've, I've got to go, Seamus. Don't forget, we're doing the back hedges today. See you there in half an hour. We're running out of time. Is it fixed? 
I, uh, I added an artificial intelligence module to uh, Sylvia, and I, I thought it would make her more perceptive. But, um... But what? Well, I, I was working on her chess game with her, and now, while the lie detection software is running, the artificial intelligence keeps trying to override it. What does all that mean? Basically, Sylvia regards everything else as an interruption to playing chess. Look, look, look. Do you mind? I'm planning my next move. Cormac, this is going to work, isn't it? As long as things stay simple, she'll stay in lie detector mode. But if, uh, if she gets confused, I'm, I'm not sure what'll happen. Well, then we better make sure she doesn't get confused. I can do. Let's just hope it's enough. No, I need to speak to you. What? Well, not now. Did you get that email that I sent you? Can't you see I'm busy? It's Wayne. He's moved into my room with a lizard. So the portal's out of bounds. Fine. I'll call before I use it. It's worse than that. I'm supposed to be trimming hedges with Seamus in 20 minutes and Wayne could be back in my room at any moment. We'll deal with it later. Right now I've got bigger problems. Everything ready, Hannah? Oh, um, yes, Miss Murphy. We built a lie detector. Cormac's all wired up and the machine is ready to go. That is impressive. Glad you think so. And it would be even more impressive if you tried the lie detector out on someone else. Someone else? Well, it's hardly objective science, is it? I mean, for all I know, Cormac could have rehearsed the answers to fit in with the machine. No way, Miss Murphy. Oh, nevertheless, an independent person is what's called for. Someone who the machine knows nothing about. Someone like... Brett! Hello, dear. Yeah, hi. Uh, is uh, Seamus in? Who? Seamus. What's the shame, dear? I'm here for the planes. Planes? Yeah, the ones for sale. Have you tried the airport? This thing doesn't really work, does it? Look, don't worry. I've told Cormac to ask very simple questions. I've written them down for him. So as long as you don't panic, we'll be fine. OK. Today, we're going to demonstrate Sylvia, the synthetic, intelligent, lie, verification, interface appliance. You, uh, you ready, Brett? What is your name? Uh, uh, uh Brett Br Miller. The subject is telling the truth. <laughs> and uh, you work part-time here at O'Keefe's? Uh, yes, I do. The subject is telling the truth. <laughs> of what age are you, Brett? Uh, Fifteen. The subject is telling the truth. Cormac, ask Brett something a little more complex. Oh, but, um... Oh, no, 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 no. Brett, did the Big Bang really happen? <sighs> Perhaps a little less complex than that. Something like... Why did Hannah miss her science test? Oh. Uh, it's lying. <laughs> no idea. The subject is lying. Oh. Let's try again. Uh, was Hannah with you during the test? No, I, 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 I don't know where she was. The subject is lying. No, I'm not. The subject is lying. I think it's about time we were hearing some truth, Brett. OK, uh, here's the truth. We were lost in Australia. The subject is telling the truth. <laughs> it was sort of my fault. I, I was using a map drawn to a napkin and we were heading towards a uh, smudge of chocolate. The subject is telling the truth. Has it stopped working, Cormac? I don't understand. I thought I fixed it. I want to play chess. Not now. You're just chicken. Look, we can play chess later. I want to play chess now, Cormac. Great. I guess I've had it then. The subject is telling the truth. <sighs> Sorry, Miss Murphy. Pity. It was just getting interesting. 
I guess this means that's a fail. Well, you've both obviously put in a lot of work. And it was quite innovative. Under the circumstances, Hannah, I'll excuse you for missing the test. Thank you, Miss Murphy. <laughs> but don't push your luck anymore. Oh, I won't. I, I promise. Can we play chess now? I want to play chess. Brett, you, you were brilliant. Just had to tell the truth, that's all. But I've got to get back before Wayne gets home. What am I going to tell Seamus? Oh, there you are, lad. Let's get a move on. Those hedges won't trim themselves. Go on. Leave Wayne to me. Honestly, Meredith, it's safe, not a roach in sight. Are you sure? Really? Come and look. Thanks, Jackie. You're my hero. Nice to know someone appreciates the effort. Where are the models, Wayne? Some moron's idea of a practical joke, if I ever find out. Hey, what are you doing with that lizard? Um, probably saving its life. What? Lizards need sunlight and fresh air. Otherwise, they get sick, and Phil knows that. I need that. Yeah, you well, know, it looks like I got to it just in time. But if I was you, I wouldn't take my eyes off it. And he believed you. <laughs> Well, he knew he wouldn't be too popular with Nerida if he let her lizard die. You are brilliant. The subject is telling the truth. Hi, you have dialed O'Keefe's College. If you wish to speak with a student, please enter their student number and then press hash. Call for Cormac Kelly. Would Cormac Kelly please come to the phone? Oh. See you, Sylvia. See you, Cormac.